Fluid line, yeah. So we can, can make them kind of line with the. So here are our bubbles that. Not as exciting as his champagne bubbles, but incredibly relevant for us. If surface tension of this water or this fluid is constant, let's assume that it is. Um, what's changing in these with regard to pressure is the radius, correct? If T is constant, all the water is the same, the fluid is the same, we are changing the radius. So assuming that tension, surface tension doesn't change, so let's keep this, so if surface tension is constant, we know that the radius is varying here. That's just due to their structure. Can you tell me, is there differences in pressures here? Where's the highest pressure going to be? In the small alveoli. Is everybody cool with that? You believe me here? Because of the fringe, there's a high pressure here and a low pressure here. Ooh, Houston, we've got a problem. Is air going to want to move? Yes. From where to where? Right. Out of the alveolus. And what's the alveolus going to look like now? Like that. That's lung collapse, right? That's alveolar collapse. But if that happened over all of your alveoli, it's the same as atelectasis we talked about before. You okay with that? That make sense? What? 